Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber. And so for today, I wanted to do a video about my top favorite looks of 2022. So I've been kind of scrolling through my pictures, just like reminiscing and all of that. And then I thought, oh my gosh, why not just do a video that just chronicles like my favorite looks of the year. And so I tried to do the top 10, but I had to do the top 12 because there were just two that I just not could not figure out which ones I wanted to take out. So we're gonna have my top 12 favorite looks and I am going to kind of just go through the order of the year. So for my first look, we have, so this is a dress that I got from Anthropology, but I did not like the way that it looked as a dress. So I picked out a black sweater, turtleneck sweater, put that on over it, and then added a black belt to cinch in my waist and made it look like a skirt. And then I threw on some boots and then I paired it with um, my coach purse. So I really love this, very like sparkly vibes. I wore this to brunch. Next, we have this dress from Anthropology that I spoke about in my last video when I was doing the whole Anthropology haul. And this dress I wore for my granny's 80th birthday. So I wore this. I paired it with some sandals that I've had forever. And then this Eva purse. So Eva London, I kept getting notifications on Instagram and my mom had mentioned it to me as well. And so I finally broke down and bought one of her purses. And I absolutely love it. Also, I wore this dress when I was in France because I was going to the Palace of Versailles. So I wanted to look really like extra, but I wore it with my Doc Martens and then a denim jacket. And so that's just an example of how this dress can really be dressed up and dressed down. Next, we have this dress that I got from Farm Rio and I was dying to wear this. I was like, what occasion do I have to wear this and really go all out? So my husband and I went to brunch and we also went to Old Town Harrisburg in Houston. And so I thought this was a perfect occasion to wear this dress. So I wore this with some cork sandals that I've had forever. And then also this um, straw bag that I got from Free People like a few years ago and it just looked really good i love the way the dress float i got a lot of compliments on it beautiful next we have this outfit that i wore to the kendrick lamar concert so i'm a huge fan of kendrick lamar he is probably my favorite artist i i just love him and so this is my second time seeing him in concert i'm like Ugh, what do i want to wear so i wanted to wear something that was like a little sexy but still really like covered up in something that I could feel comfortable like moving in because when I go to a concert I am dancing I'm on my feet all night so I wore um this top this mesh see-through top that I got from Urban Outfitters a few years ago and then I wore a cute like leather bra under it and then I wore like some jeans I got from Hollister a belt and some black sandals with a block heel because that was important like block heels are super comfortable i'm not wearing stilettos to a concert only because i'm dancing on my feet the whole time moving on so this dress i wore to my brother-in-law's graduation so i had dresses in my closet i could have worn but this was during the period where my stuff was just not fitting the way it should be fitting and so i went to dillard's and i happened upon this dress and i was like this is cute this is perfect i feel really comfortable in it so i did that i paired it with my green sandals and that eva london bag perfect loved it okay so next this skirt and top so the top i got from anthropology the skirt it's also from anthropology but i got it like a while ago and then these shoes so i got them from free people a while ago and this is a, a classic case of i bought something i didn't really have an idea of when or how i was going to wear it and then i always look at the pair of shoes like on my shoe rack and be like i'm gonna wear these and then i just never really had an occasion to or never really had an outfit where i thought it looked good but finally i put this outfit together i said you know what this is my time to wear these shoes and it looked really good and i paired it with my straw bag that i got from free people from ever ago and i was feeling this i loved it i wore this to brunch so this next outfit is a very casual look but why it was one of my favorites is because it was very different from what i typically was wearing at the time so kind of backtrack last year is when the trend for more looser fitting pants came in and they were kind of saying oh maybe don't wear your skinny jeans but i still wear my skinny jeans because i don't care what the trend is if it's something that i like i'm still gonna wear it okay so in this outfit i have a very classic white basic top crop top 
with my Hollister jeans, a little loose, and then some sneakers. And then I was in Madrid for this. So when I was on my trip in Europe, I was very much about wearing sneakers because I'm walking a lot and just being very comfortable. And so I had put, posted this on my stories. My mom had made a comment like, oh, this is kind of different for you. And I said, yes, it is. And I noticed too, when I was in Madrid that a lot of the women there had on like looser fitting pants. So I felt like very like on trend and very like mixed in with the locals. So yeah, I loved this, very casual. And this was, I have this shirt in a lot of other different colors. I know black for sure. And I want to say like a mustard color. So I also wore like a variation of it with black, but yeah, just a very simple, easy outfit. Anyone can do it. So then this next outfit I wore when I was in Paris and I've worn this outfit before, but just worn with different shoes, but I had purchased the Keds, uh, Kate Spade and they're the ones with the little sparkle on it. And so I thought that this was really cute. And whenever I think of Paris, I think tulle. And so I just always had this outfit like in my mind for whenever I went to Paris. The skirt is tulle. I got it from ASOS a few years ago. And then the top is just a basic striped blue and white shirt and then the kids so yeah, i love this outfit and like i said i've worn it before but just with different shoes so i've worn it with heels things like that super cute this other dress okay so i got this dress from free people a few years ago and i was always like where am i going to wear this i don't have an occasion to wear it it just always seemed like really dressy to me and so finally when I knew I was going to be in Paris for my birthday, I thought this is like the perfect dress for this. And I wore it on a scene river cruise. So this was pictures taken like after the cruise, um, like in front of the Eiffel Tower. And like, it's I loved it. And it I will say it's pretty heavy and it took up a lot of space in my suitcase, but it was so worth it. And then I wore um, some sandals, some mules that I got from Dillard's and they're gold. And I just loved it. I love the way that this dress flowed. I felt like really cute in it. So yeah. Okay, this next outfit is a skirt that I got from Anthropology a few months ago. And I I was like, what? How am I gonna wear it? Because I feel like I got it on sale like at the end of the year. So I didn't really to me it always kind of seemed like a fall winter type of skirt but I always envisioned wearing it with loafers and I didn't have any loafers. And so I was on the hunt for some loafers and I finally happened upon some that were at a price that I was okay with um, from Free People. So I paired this with those loafers and then I got the socks from Target. And then the top is just a very basic mock neck, white cream color top. So I wore that and this was in December. This was a very hot day in December in Texas. So I wore that and I felt really cute in it and I really loved the loafers. Okay, so this next dress I got from Anthropology, and I saw it and it just had all the things that I love. One, it's pink, two, it's tool, and it just really gave me like Carrie Bradshaw vibes. And so I bought it and I paired it with the sandals that I've had for years. So I, they're satin sandals and they tie up and I have them also in black and so I've worn the black pair like numerous times for like more formal occasions but I had never worn the pink ones until I purchased this dress because I really like the idea of having pink with pink and then I added my um, Gucci Dionysus mini bag and I was like, okay, I'm obsessed. I love this. And I, I, honestly, I really love the bag too. But I was like, I love this outfit. I wore it to my husband's company's holiday party. And then I also had worn it to my husband's cousin's quinceanera. So I've gotten some use out of this dress. It's so cute. And I love the flowers. One thing about it though, like the flowers are so hard to stay up. And I ended up, the first time I wore it to the quinceanera, and I don't have a picture of it, but it, they stayed up really nicely. And then throughout the night, I guess they started to droop. And then I took it to the cleaners because I thought, oh, maybe they could like kind of fix it and make it stand up like it used to, but it it didn't work. I paid so much to get dry clean and it didn't work out, but yeah. So I ended up just using some fashion tape that I got from Ulta and that kind of helped it stay up. 
but yeah i love this dress and then lastly i have this sequin skirt that i talked about in my last haul video so i wore that and then i had a top from express that i purchased and with the cutouts in the back is a velvet top well velvet bodysuit so it's a velvet bodysuit and i love it and um, i will say that for whenever i need something that's a little on the dressy side express is usually a place that i can go like to find cute dressy tops and so i had purchased like a few velvet bodysuits from them because i kind of realized that there were some like skirts and things that i was buying that if i had a velvet top i feel like it would just really like uh, for the holidays so i wore that wore my corral sequin boots and then i have my um, gucci mini dionysus bag and my cowgirl hat and i absolutely love this outfit so so I wore this to the Taste of Texas, which is a steakhouse in Houston. And my husband and I go every year because that's where he proposed to me. So we go like and celebrate our engagement anniversary and go back there. But yeah, so I wore it there. I felt super cute. I loved it. Um, so Hi, it's me from the future. I was editing this video and realized that I not talk about this freaking outfit that I love so much. It's casual, but it's also very chic. So the top I got when I was in Rome from the store that I happened upon and then the top beret is from Louis France I got when I was in Paris for some skinny jeans some booties and then my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. So we're just gonna make this 13 looks instead of 12. And there you have it those are my top favorite looks of 22. Thank you so much for watching see you next time bye.